Hello everyone and welcome to Empire Total War. Well, let's play Empire Total War rather. Sorry, it would help if I did the intro right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, not too much has happened since the end of the last episode. All that I've done is... Hold on a minute. I've just fixed that. Replenish those troops, fix that port, and that's it. Oh, and I've moved a few ships, and that's it. Nothing else. So there's nothing you're missing there. Um, what I do need to do is check the status of all of my provinces, but I might do that off camera. Well, actually, I'll, not, I'll just do it quickly. Well, that's doing well. Oh, I can't export some of that because I haven't got enough of that. Or I can't export fur because I haven't got an upgraded port. That's annoying. Anyway, I think the next thing I'm going to do is capture Trinidad and Tobago because it's there and I can. Yeah, that looks like a good target, actually. have got plantation. That looks like a fairly easy target. Looks like my ally has captured the port belonging to that. Hold on a minute. Are they at war? They must be. Yeah, they're at war. No, they can't be. Yeah, they're at war with France. Blimey. Blimey, O'Reilly. And they're only allies with Austria, Hanover and me. Yeah, they could be in a bit of trouble. I could actually do a helping those guys out. But nah, that's a task for another time. Alright. Now the question is... Do our four line infantrymen enough to take that out? Oh, I can't, I can't do it yet because that needs to be prepared. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit hardcore. I tell you what, I could do. It's a little bit cheeky, but. Sail one of the sloops down here. Foot to sea. Oh yeah, they're occupying that port. Still ship shape. And that is what one, two, three, four, five, six. I think. I think is that six militia units? Those grey things mean. That's two. I can't quite read that. I think, blimey, is that seven unit? Right, I'm going to need more troops then. Send the rest of the navy to Port Royal, Jamaica. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, before I make decisions like that, No, I do need to, right. Right, so I need to recruit more troops from over here, which means the navy needs to be over here as well. Ah, and I just deselected it. Eh, sorry. I might do this off camera, to be absolutely honest. I'll just send this over here, and then I'll, I'll join you when I've actually got troops down there. I think that would be the best thing to do. 
rather than you having to watch me do this all the time. Right, and once I've recruited maybe one or maybe two units there, that should be done. I'll see you in a little bit. Right, welcome back everybody. Apparently I've just been attacked by a pirate. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to fight this or not. Well... God, blimey, he has a lot more firepower than I do. That's scary. Yeah, I'm going to retreat. I'll come back and kill him later. Oh, I am so going to sink you in a little bit. There has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Every time a battle is won, or a territory conquered, the populace become more fervent in their support of the war. This is indicated by increased happiness. <gasps> well, isn't that just brilliant? Um, the, the, the. This nation has made considerable advance in their social or economic ideology, placing them temporarily one step ahead of their rivals. The concept of moral and sometimes political agreement that is made when a person becomes a member of society. Theorists hold that humans naturally reside in a state of nature. In this state, men are free to do as they wish without the constraints of the greater good. However, some will seek to improve themselves by working the land to create property. To create this property, man must leave the state of nature and seek society and the laws it provides. This is when the social contract is required to describe what is expected of a member of society. Oh, and this was put forward by the Enlightenment thinker, the French Enlightenment thinker, Rousseau. But would that be Jean Jack Rousseau? I think it would be. Oh, he suggested that in order for individuals to live in harmony, they must give their will to the general will. Interesting. Yeah, conservatism, yeah. Letter of demands, Leewood Island. Oh, they're not happy with me. That's good. I'll continue. And I'll send him to there. Obeying the Lord's word. Um, right. Oh yeah, and there was an army. Stationed round here. Quite a big army of French that came in through that way. Jamaica. Oh yeah, I've already done that one. Well, I never knew that. Apparently, the Daily Current was the first daily newspaper in the world. Edward Mallet has published this groundbreaking page from his rooms located above the White Hart pub on Fleet Street. What is that? Yeah, am I thinking Barber on Fleet Street? I am, aren't I? Blimey, so it comes from the same place that the guy who pretended to be a barber to cut people up from. Well, that explains something to do with Red Top then, doesn't it? Anyway, ignoring my humour. Consisting purely of foreign news items in order to avoid government interference. The publication carries no comment from the editor himself. As Mallet says, other people have sense enough to make reflections for themselves. 
This new source of daily information will surely be only the first of many newspapers to do so. Hmm. That was a little bit interesting history. Anyway. I'm going to sign off, sign off in a second because you probably don't need to see all of the boring construction that I'm going to have to decide to do. Uh, yeah, that needs something. That's still building. Oh yeah, and I need to decide what I'm researching. Oh, I'm researching, what is that? Empiricism. Naval's building of college. Yeah, I approve of that. Yeah, that'll do. I will quickly while I'm here. Because I've got so much money. Build a line infantryman. What else do I need? Right, I can't remember if I went through what my objectives were, but with this army, I think, or with another army, I'm going to capture Gibraltar. That's quite lightly defended. That should be easy enough to do. Um, but while I remember... Sorry, I'm jumping backwards and forwards. While I remember... I am going... Or could I get away with it? Could I get... Yeah, I might be able to get away with it. We'll see. But yeah. That army I'm taking to Gibraltar. To capture that. Do I need to capture Malta or anything like it? Blimey! It is going to be hard to capture that though. I mean, it is very rich. Do you know what? That might well be worth my while capturing. Hmm, I'm going to make some decisions. See you in a little bit. Right. As you can see, I'm just going to destroy that pirate vessel that was annoying and in my way. You may notice a few things whilst I'm doing this. First of all, I've turned off the music. There is a reason for this. The reason for that is I keep getting content ID claims that because I well apparently because part of the music of the game is copyrighted separately to the game. That makes no sense to me. But there you have it. Apparently it is. So, I will not be u having the music on at all. Uh, what I do want though, how do I select present tag? No. Line of breast? No. Oh, I don't know. What formation do I want? It's going to be a single ship that's powerful. Ordering your fleet into line astern ensures ease of maneuver without compromising swift fire. Your ships will follow one another, all mirroring the moves of the lead ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, content ID on YouTube irritates the tits off of me. It's like, what is the point, seriously? It's not like I'm trying to rip off the, the thing. All I'm trying to do is do a let's play of Empire Total War, for God's sakes. The Urgh. fire at will button orders the selected ship to fire as they bear at any target which presents itself. Blah, 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 blah. This is the yeah. Anyway. Right, I'm going to stop the video now and start it again when I get a bit closer. Okay, and the battle is starting. You'll just see I'm pulling up alongside shit now. Come on, open fire. That's what I like to see. Blimey. Got me a bit, you know.
sleep to get the fire. Poor blimey, that thing isn't there. They're actually firing. Well, I thought this would be an easy battle, but apparently not. I mean, that thing lost eight of its guns, so yeah. Oh, blimey, here we go, collision course. Great collision in three, two, one. Second, right. I probably want to maneuver that way. I'm tempted to load different type of ammunition. I can't remember what type does what. Heck. He's bloody... he's surrendered. Blimey, I've lost my sleep. Oh well. There we go, he's way... Oh, he's routing, he's routing. Embattled. Oof. I actually lost a ship in that. Blimey. The sea is ours! Oh well, one ship's good enough. Right, I'll be back on, I'll see you again when the next battle occurs, which will probably be over Trinidad and Tobago if I can find it. Yeah. Now I'm going to get these guys into port. On our way, Captain. Hi guys, welcome back. It is now 17.03 and I'm going to attack Trinidad and Tobago. 
Uh, are they already. They must already be there. It is possible to take a fort or city without risking a pitched battle. A patient general can throttle the fight out of the defenders by laying siege for several turns. This is time consuming, but eventually hunger or an angry populace will force a surrender. I wonder what happens if I press demand surrender. Ah uh, well, surrender refused, defending force refuses to comply with your demand of surrender. Oh well, we do this the long way then. I never saw so many shocking bad hats in my life. Arthur Wesley, Duke of Wellington, British General and Prime Minister upon entering the House of Commons. <laughs> Maybe they had bad dress sense then as well as being hypocrites. Right. Oh, I'm some distance away actually. Okay, how do I want to approach this? I probably want them all closer. I don't want him too close. Oh, I don't know that I wanted to do that, but alright. Three in one line, three in one segment, four in another segment. Yeah, I can deal with that. Wheel that one round, wheel that one all the way round. We'll see how this goes. Oh, hello. He's right the way over here. Actually, been better off staying over there, but never mind. Ah, oh, you can actually order your troops to back up against a wall, and that would be handy about now. I think the drummer must get his arms a bit tired doing this. Wait, where is the drummer? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'd get tired doing that constantly, but hey, I suppose it's better than shooting. Yeah. Right, I tell you what. I'm going to pause it now and restart it when I get closer. Okay guys, the battle of starting. I just positioned troops on this wall here, only these two apparently can shoot at him, which is annoying. Yeah, I'd say they're going to get slaughtered fairly easily, actually. Except for that regiment there. That regiment might be in trouble, but oh well. Was that guy like a pirate captain? He must have been. I think he was, yeah.
They're running already. Good, good, good. I think, what are they doing here? Are they reforming? They are, aren't they? Oh, they're going to send a whole unit at me. Why not? What I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to come up on their flank. Oh, my general got shot a little bit. Oh well. No biggie. Could send him after them guys actually. Yeah, I will. I'll send him after them. Something to do. Oh, come on, are they going to get into range? I think they are. Yeah, they're just coming into range. I have to watch my general in case he dies. I think he's alright. Yeah, he's alright. I thought for a minute there I might lose my general. That'd be embarrassing. Losing my general to a pirate mob. Just zoom in so you can guys can watch this in real time. Be absolutely honest, I probably don't need to chase these guys down anymore. But what the heck? I'll just leave them. Apparently they can shoot at me from there. I may have to come off this wall and deal with that. Now I'll just let them run away. Yeah, they are right. I'm going to have to deal with that. I am excited for the oncoming release of Rome 2. I will definitely be doing that, by the way. I'll be playing as the Spartans, obviously. God, they keep coming back from routing this lot. Oh. Anyway. He's breaking, they're breaking. Well, they're actually not breaking yet. God, nearly breaking, nearly breaking.
taking a surprising amount of casualties here. Hold on. Oh. I might want to be careful here. They're coming back from routing. Yeah, I don't want to risk the general. Thought I had them all routed and then they come back. Ugh. Still they'll be dead in a minute. That's right, you pirate scum. Die. Still on the field. Oh no, nobody's still on the field. Right, good. That's pretty decent. What I get? And all, oh yeah, all of my line infantry now had an inf now have an experience point. That's good. Deployed 860, 840. Lost them all. Hmm. I must have got credit for most of that because of the fact that they were running away. Let's see. Kills. Well, this line infantryman killed 124. And they killed 125. I think they might have been the blokes on the wall. I'm not sure. Might have been. Anyway. That. The call to battle. Pirates have been destroyed. That's good. No more pirates. Minus one. Oh, that's alright. I can deal with that. Repair that. Repair that. And while I'm at it. Can I replenish my troops here or not? Apparently I can. Right. Order that army replenished. Right. And I'll see you next time guys I think. Because I'll make a few more moves. Um, probably don't need to see that to be honest because it's going to be a little bit boring watching if it's not going to be a battle or something preluding to one. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye for now.